You want world on it? 1.20.6. Let's get it. First things first, go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting world at it. But you're watching this video, so I'm guessing you'd rather use that than a text guide. If you want a text guide, though, here it is. Go ahead and click download world edit, and it will take you to world edit's official download page. On this page, we want to go ahead and click on files up here at the top, and then we want to find the 1.20.6 version of world edit. This version actually is compatible with both Forge and NeoForge, so you can download the same one no matter which mod loader you're using. Go ahead and click the three dots next to this version, click download file, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, have us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next ways to SGH. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to the server and truthfully customize the server any way that you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and keep or save this file here and World Edit will begin downloading. Now we're going to be installing the Fabric version of World Edit and you can find Fabric linked in the description down below. Once you're here, this is again our in-depth text guide on getting Fabric and you can use that if you'd like, but as far as the video guide goes, go ahead and click Download Fabric here to go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, we want to go ahead and click on this Download Universal Jar there. The reason we're clicking that instead of the Download for Windows is because if you install Fabric using the Universal jar here, you'll be able to install other Minecraft mods and stuff easier in the future. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and move both the files we downloaded from our downloads folder to our desktop. They won't be here forever, but it's easier to like, you know, use them and actually move them where they need to go from our desktop. Once they're on our desktop, what we want to do is actually start off with the Fabric installer. Go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or you do, and it doesn't work. When you click OK, it doesn't open Fabric. Well, that's because you now need Java 21 for Minecraft 1.20.6. So if you're playing Minecraft 1.20.6, you need Java 21 in order for it to work and in order for you to be able to install Fabric and open the Fabric installer. After you get Java 21, run the jar fix. All this does is take files like Fabric and link them back to Java. But step one, get Java. Step two, run the jar fix. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Fabric using Java. And then in the Fabric installer, all we've got to do is make sure 1.20.6 is selected and then click install. When you do, it will successfully install Fabric. The only reason it wouldn't here is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Both of those will need to be closed in order to install Fabric. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.6 before, just go open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then this will work. And unless we can go ahead and click OK and close out of the Fabric installer and actually delete it because we don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And from here, what we can do is install World Edit, right? We don't even have to go in game to install World Edit. It can be done right here from the Minecraft launcher. And that way when we launch Minecraft, we're good to go. How do you do that? Well, go to installations at the top. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, modded's not checked. Fabric's not here, but if we check modded, there it is, Fabric Loader 1.20.6. Now, if you don't have Fabric Loader 1.20.6 here, let's say you even have an older version of the Fabric Loader, what can we do? Well, we want to create a new installation here. You can name this anything you want, but I'm going to name this SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play modded Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click the version drop-down box here and find your Fabric release. You can actually search for it if you need to. There it is, Fabric Loader 1.20.6. And then I'm going to change the resolution so we can see better once we get in game and click Create. Now, how do we install World Edit from here? Well, all you've got to do is hover over your Fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that's there by default, and click on the folder icon. That's going to open up your Minecraft folder. In here, there should be a mods folder. If there is, open it. If there's not, go ahead and create a new folder titled Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open your mods folder. Now, drag and drop World Edit from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so, and boom, there you go. World Edit's installed. Now, all you've got to do is come back to the Minecraft launcher here and play Minecraft, either using your Fabric installation or the installation you created with Fabric. Just make sure Fabric is the active version on whatever installation you're running. And boom, Minecraft is going to open up with World Edit installed. It's that easy to get World Edit. Now, one of the things about Fabric is that there's no real way to tell that World Edit's installed from the main menu here. The way to really know is by going into single player and just giving it a try, right? So we can jump into a single player world here and give ourselves a World Edit wand. How do you do that? Well, you can use the slash slash 
wand command, right like so. Now, if you can't run these commands, go ahead and hit escape, click open to LAN and turn allow commands on. And now you'll be able to run the world edit commands and commands like slash weather. But nevertheless, once you've got a world edit wand, you can kind of change this to anything that you want. So let's go ahead and left click for position two and right click for position one or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. And what we want to do is replace this grass. So we can do slash slash replace. And then we want to replace all the grass blocks with we'll do diamond blocks and boom there you go but I don't really like how that looks so we can do undo as well and it will undo that it even replanted the tree oh no it didn't replant the tree there that's okay we can do that manually now one of the cool things you can also do with this is copy and paste so if we went ahead and did let's say a right click here and if we go into creative so we can fly we can actually fly up here because you can't really get all this with your wand you can actually do slash slash POS 2 or position 2 and now everything in this from position 1 to where we were standing is selected we can do slash slash copy and that's going to copy this and then let's say we wanted to make another one of these houses up here on this hill well, we can do that, but also worth noting, I almost forgot, you want to make sure that you're standing where you want the paste to be. So we can do slash slash copy again, and then we can come up here on the hill and paste this. But I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees before I paste it. So slash slash rotate, and then 180 degrees, and then now we can do slash slash paste. And there we go. We now have this house pasted up here, looking great. You know, do a little bit more detailing around it, maybe get rid of that. And there you go. You now have a house up on the hill without having to do any work except run a few commands. So there you have it. World A is now installed. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And enjoy what, in my opinion, is the best mods for builders in Minecraft. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.